私は、William。僕は、Alan さん。Oh, wait, I was oh wait, no, we don't honorific ourselves. We got new cameras. I think we had them on the last couple episodes, but we got different lenses because those were total dog water. And、uh, hopefully it looks better. It's, it's everyone's just going to say it. It looks better because I'm back on the podcast, baby. <laughs> yeah, where you been, Kevin? I've been just, you know, Florida things, doing Florida things, creeping around like a little cockroach down there. I'm back. Doing Florida things sounds like you're doing drugs. <laughs> just doing Florida things. Oh, yeah, I like. Who is it? We're Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Land of vending machines and a bunch of other weird stuff that we went into the store yesterday and looked around that I don't really want to talk about. <laughs> My God, I've never seen anything like that in America. <laughs> Maybe one day it'll make it there, though. Yeah. We can only hope. You don't know where to look.、Uh, yeah. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs>、uh, we, we, all, all of the,、um, how do I say this? All the money that the podcast ever made, we used to go to Japan. <laughs> But it wasn't enough. So we have to spend our own money, too. <laughs> We're turning your money into little, little trinkets from the gotcha machines.、Oh、like this, this doorbell. I don't know what it was. I thought it looked cool, but it's a doorbell. Wait, play, play, put your mic to it so people can get the full. Sorry, Ian. I'm blowing it out. Yeah. We can just say this episode's extra bad because we're jet lagged. Yes. That's, can, our that's why. How many times can we use that excuse? <sighs> Probably for all the ones after this, even when we go back to America. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I've been here for one full week. I'm still, it's like,、yeah. the, it's like the first day. It's like a cloud in my head. <laughs> Japan has broken us. I don't know what to say next. <laughs> Last time I was on the podcast, he said that he was never making videos again, only shorts. So now he's done with shorts and he's back to long form videos. No, he's, now he's going to clarify. <laughs> <laughs> I've quit shorts and now I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> I've started doing drugs now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you actually doing a long form video now? Yeah, I filmed one in the two weeks that I was back. You made a long form video in two weeks? Well, almost. That's crazy. Can you say what it's about? No, it's a secret. Oh, come on. Because it won't be released、this. for like four months. <laughs> <laughs> and if, if I say it, people are going to ask where it is. No, just say it's、so、like I can steal your idea and make the video in two months. Scoop ya. No, <laughs> it's a secret. Is it? We can censor this. No. That's because that's a good one. I know, I'll do, do that. that next. Okay. Do it first. Censor that. First. <laughs> <laughs> you can't censor this. I've got it now. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin could do it. Kevin could. Do you want to have a race? No. no. Why couldn't I do it? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone here can do it except for one. <laughs> you、this、just don't have what it takes. <laughs> Oh, wait, can, can we have the,、uh, yes. the cubic monster we now? We have M Monster Cubed. I don't know what that means. Japan is honestly a little bit of a nightmare. Like, I really like it here. But... Extra strength. I want it. I think it has, it has I think it has four times the caffeine of a normal monster. I genuinely think that would be illegal in the States. You, well, it's、oh, because、yeah. in the States, no, people would like drink a bunch so, of them and die. Before I do, before, before I pour it, I'll say in the US, before, like, when I got really into caffeinated drinks, this was like 20. I want to say 2010. You got, there were some crazy energy drinks. Oh, I remember Four Locos. Well, the one I wanted to buy was called Wired X505. Hold this for you、uh, so you can open the can. It was called Wired X505. It had 500 milligrams of caffeine.、Uh, they, no. They banned it before I could buy it. You just add your own caffeine. Yeah,、um, I, I did. I bought caffeine in bulk and I tried to make my own, and it just wasn't the same. I'm certain that this is just. Like condensed, it, it is. It looks、Absolutely. a little syrupy, actually. It's、yeah. it's straight up just it like more.、Like、this Wait, actually looks like. Is it offensive、exciting. that we're having it? Okay, <laughs> I don't think so. I only did it because it's so concentrated. I don't want to drink from the can. Oh、directly. my god,、nice. it smells. Pour us. I mean, it's、oh、monster. It's classic monster. Yeah, but it, like I, it's like just making its no, way. No, it's over definitely、here. like more syrupy though. It's just it's like Red Bull. It has a very Red Bull taste. It's definitely it. just monster、I'm, energy that's been like boiled down. Or they didn't add enough water. Why? Why? What's the point? Maybe you're supposed to like reconstitute it. <laughs> I don't understand. I, like no, I don't know. I'm even trying to read it. It's all in Japanese. I can't read this crap. <laughs> crap. That's offensive. Hit me. I like it. It's like,、oh. um, it's like tastier Dayquil. It's not good. Does Dayquil, does, Day, tastier. does Dayquil keep you awake?、Uh, Dayquil has.、Um, it's thick. You know when you eat a bunch、uh, of asparagus and then your 
pee starts smelling really strong. It looks like that. Too. There's a, a very similar vibe here. It does, it's not <laughs> the same smell, but it's, a, it's the same strength of smell. Like, like he, he, I'm, I smell it from here. Yeah, like, it I, wafts. It just diffuses into the air very quickly. What's the speed of smell? Have we ever talked about the speed of smell? I guess it, you'd be limited to speed of sound, right? Couldn't travel faster than that. Correct. I think because that's because it's the molecule <laughs> that has to like ping pong around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's why there's like <laughs> after I made the last wow. smell video, <laughs> it's horrible. It, no, it, I like it. After I made the last smell video on like the stinky smell, I'm I want I, I really oh, want to no. make thioacetone, which is supposed to be the I, stinkiest I, chemical ever. I thought ever. you were done, so I kind of just finished it off. <laughs> no, I'm. Um, off. And there's like there's there's just not much info about it, but I don't believe like there are some accounts where people are like. Oh, someone opened a bottle and within second they smelled it like a mile downwind. And what? I'm like, I'm like, that's just not even possible. Unless the wind was going a mile a second. <laughs> it's wind. Like it makes no sense. I think there's just some exaggerated accounts, but it's like it cannot possibly go that quickly. Hmm. Did you read that blog post on like things that I won't work with? It's a chemistry blog about like all the dangerous chemicals mm. that this guy has to work with. Did you see that article? I think it's like a whole website. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. But he yeah. did one on theoacetone, and he said like it was reportedly so stinky that yeah, like they made this chemical, and not only they had to evacuate the lab, but the entire town surrounding the lab because they thought so, like a gas leak happened. The reason why I don't believe this is because if you look at, I mean, they there's not much info on it, but if you look at the actual like th uh, smell threshold, as far as I looked at it pretty quickly. But it's not, it's worse, but it's not that much worse than like methyl mercaptan or ethyl mercaptan, which is what they put in uh, like natural gas to smell. Mm. That's what, what, if, it, what if the smell is just so bad it like triggers something in your brain? That's what they claim. They say they're like, it triggers this like animal instinct of fear. <laughs> But I don't know if I, I don't believe any of this. Your, your evolution has designed you to become incredibly afraid of a very stinky <laughs> well, pile of dookie. I, I'm going to make it. So it's just pure fear smell. They claim that, but the last time I made something stinky, it wasn't even bad. So can you make a like wait? A, was this a, a chemistry pheromone? thing or a, a like a food thing? <laughs> Maybe a little bit of both. <laughs> I told Ian Doki I was going to lean forward the whole podcast, and I'm instantly breaking that. It's out of focus. Now. <laughs> Get forward. Go forward. Oh, Your skin's going to look very smooth. <laughs> Your acne blurred over. Nice. Yeah. Natural filter. filter. <laughs> so you had a question. Oh yeah, can you uh, can you make me like a love pheromone? Oh, you've asked this before. Cologne. <laughs> I've said no every time. Yeah, well, I'm hoping that this time there's more pressure because there's cameras on. Well, you can't or you won't. <laughs> I, I told yeah, I told Nigel. him I told him you can make things. Chloroform. Yeah, I was like I was like <laughs> that's not. A I was like love what, I was like what you're looking for, Alan, is illegal <laughs> and immoral and immoral. That's not what I'm asking for. We know, you what, know you what you want, and we're gonna for. shame you for it. <laughs> Like a like an animal smell that like induces mating behavior. Do you think that's this is like a monkey's paw wish? <laughs> like <laughs> like yes, you get it, but not. <laughs> I I think that does exist to like I mean not fair like not in the pheromone sense, but just like pleasant smells. Like just wearing like a nice perfume definitely does. Because wasn't there uh, didn't the U.S. government try and make that gay bomb? I was gonna say like yeah. yes, it, it's you get a mating form pheromone but it's only for dudes <laughs> like that's the only person it works I did, on i did i never heard about that it was like it was a project was it world war ii or later than that it was basically sure. it, was, it was a project they were trying to design something that could demoralize an enemy force and so it, the idea was a gay bomb it's a bomb that disperses some kind of chemical gas through like enemy barracks but, and it makes the guys like so horny that they all just have to have sex with each other and then it's like the morning after they can't fight effectively anymore because they're all just like they're so relaxed <laughs> i feel like that could definitely i feel like that could make your army stronger like, do you imagine like the most well-bonded army yeah. <laughs> it's like family oh, like i feel like i don't know what you're we're in japan my brain's all twisted up <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why they uh, discontinued the idea. They found out it was the, having the opposite yeah. effect. I want to. I want to hear some of your Japanese. So before we came to Japan, mm, no, Nigel no, was, no, 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 Nigel no, no, was no, very no. adamant. He learned Japanese. He said he was crash course. Yes, he was like, I'm going to learn Japanese in two weeks. He was so confident that he came up with an idea that he was going to do with you that now he's trying to bail on. I didn't yeah. bail. You, you literally were trying to bail yesterday. 
Take my hand, We're talking Nigel. About Bailey. Oh, sorry, sorry. I completely misinterpreted what you were saying. Take my hand. Where's the glue? Mm. Nigel wanted to glue. It was our on hands his together. hand right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no. The idea is uh, to super glue our hands together, and because Nigel doesn't actually know how to undo super glue, so then we'd have to figure it out in Japan. He said he was going to use his Japanese that he learned in two weeks. I did not say that. I said that you, it's funnier because I don't know Japanese. You were so like braggy about you were going to learn <laughs> Japanese in two weeks. And we get here and I've spoken to more Japanese people than you. That's not true. I spoke to one Japanese guy yesterday. <laughs> I said a sentence. <laughs> what did nice. you say? Water, please. <laughs> I said. That's because he that literally technically couldn't order a uh, uh, is, is that Mizu Akurosai? Is that close enough? Okay. Uh, but no, it's because I went back home and I was like, I'm going to learn Japanese, uh, and then I filmed the video instead. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's more I realize that you can't. There's no point in trying to learn in two weeks. <laughs> you, <laughs> just, no. in two weeks. you can't learn in two weeks. <laughs> so the man who was very confident was going to learn in two weeks. No, actually, I, I would have put more effort into it if I didn't film a video. I feel like that's like procrastination productivity. Definitely. Yeah, no, because the reason is because the way, I, I like doing <laughs> yeah. it. I, I like doing it with audio tapes. You can't hide from us. And I like doing it when I clean, like clean the lab up, yeah. clean things. And I was just working. So I just didn't mm. ever have free time to listen to it. Mm -hmm. so yeah. in your in your hiatus what did you actually learn that made this video better because that's what you were trying to do right or worse or worse how did what did you do that made it worse <laughs> i don't know what if i learned anything oh my god <laughs> that, that was the whole point I'm just he joking. didn't learn about making videos he didn't learn japanese <laughs> he didn't learn his lesson maybe not learning was what i had <laughs> to learn how to do the whole the whole time that's yeah <laughs> i had to learn how to not learn the real that's, learning that's the real learning, learning. <laughs> was the not learning we did along the way turns out the brain damage the, 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 the forgetting the was the learning that we learned the whole time <laughs> mostly in here um yeah what i want to know the secrets because i i this video that i just did was actually like a living nightmare for a week because i assumed it wouldn't be and that was my first mistake, was thinking it was going to be straightforward. Well, I don't know what your question is. What? Did, how do we what, make good how, videos? Yeah, how are you doing this better now? Two weeks for a video, that's pretty good. By your standards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm um, still going to take four months to edit. <laughs> yeah, maybe just learning how to like film more efficiently. Huh. So like not filming things that I don't think will be in the video. Okay. And just trying to figure out... Because different projects, you need to film them differently. Because some of them I have to film everything along the way, and some I probably don't have to film every single thing that happens. I'm waiting for the secret it just information. Like yeah. You didn't learn <laughs> yeah. Uh, honestly, like I would say at the end, like, what I just learned was that nothing. The, <laughs> no. the problem is in here. <laughs> oh my god. No, I. I, I, we're, I we're, we're screwed. I, I, I learned how to plan the videos better. I don't know why we put all efficient. our eggs into this basket. <laughs> We thought you'd come out with some secrets that we'd be able to use, and we don't have anything. No, it's just, I just learned. We maxed I mean, out I, our credit cards coming to Japan. I learned something from me, not for you. that we would be able to make all the money back after Nigel told us the secret. <laughs> I just learned to be more you efficient did. in filming. More efficient. That's it. Yeah. Okay. For me, yeah. It's like telling a depressed person to smile more. <laughs> <laughs> it no, makes sense. It just I just found the things that I liked in the videos and tried to make only do that and then reduce the part that I don't like. I was just hoping for something a little more like revelatory. <laughs> what you just said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to go into like excruciating detail. That's it doesn't help want. you guys at all. Give us the detail. <laughs> <laughs> you know what my motto is? The the uh, the worse the suffering, the better the story. <laughs> I I actually do feel like usually like the worse I feel when I'm making a video is usually correlated with how well the video does. Yeah, like unfortunately, because it means that you're like trying. I think the problem is the video can't like when I'm filming something, uh, like the video can't go too well because then there's nothing interesting. But then you're also afraid at the same time that you won't have a video. See, that's what I was saying at the snake thing. Remember the yes. entire car ride back? I was like, I don't feel right because everything went very smoothly. <laughs> it did. It didn't. It didn't. But yes, I know what you mean. And then it turned out like the problem was then when I was like, and then and then the like, problem is editing. Is. <laughs> like it, it, just, it was a thing that happened beginning to end. I was like, I don't know what this is. No problems. <laughs> 
Yeah. It's like if the video is easy to film, it's going to be hard to edit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, that's actually a pretty good rule. Yeah. One time I told somebody that I, I feel like if you're not struggling to make videos, your videos aren't good. And then they, they said that's a very unhealthy way of making videos. <laughs> that person. I think we we're both right. PewDiePie. I think I'm. I, <laughs> I think that I think that both people in that conversation were correct. <laughs> Is that weird to have an argument where you're both correct? <laughs> no, I think, no, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> but I think it's true. It is. Yeah. I mean, like, it so is. If I were to come up with some, whatever, some idea for a video, and if I just came up with it, planned it in, let's say, 30 minutes, filmed it, and it was good, I probably wouldn't post it. <laughs> <laughs> just on principle. <laughs> no, because there's, isn't that how you make your shorts? <laughs> no, the shorts are also suffering. The shorts are, honestly, the shorts that are too easy to film, I didn't post. <laughs> Have they're just boring. Can I have them? They're just boring. Can yeah. I have the shorts you did? Some post? of the shorts, one of them took me, I think, like 10, 15 hours to edit. <laughs> what? You can no, give we them. We actually outlined a 3D printing TikTok that I think would be decent. I still have to do it, though. Decent. You, you can give them yeah. to Ludwig. I think what? Give your videos to Lud Ludwig. <laughs> you Ludwig. Just post them. Yeah. No, they're actually bad. Like, I spent hours editing it. I look at it and go, nah. <laughs> just, just basically delete it. <sighs> no, there has to be something. This is like a rich person bragging about wiping their ass with money. It's like you sitting on all these awesome shorts. <laughs> no, they're not good. Like, that's the thing. It's like... Yeah, this $100 bill's worthless. It's like, uh, there's this Onion article. So, you know Bill Watterson, the guy who... Calvin and Hobbes. Yeah, Calvin and Hobbes. Yeah. So, it's like... Uh, it was like an Onion article that was like, Bill Watterson throws away another masterpiece. He was like, ah, yes, another great Calvin and Hobbes. And he just throws it in the garbage. <laughs> I just there has to be like something interesting or complicated that happens because the thing like the thing about Bill Watterson is he had this quote or maybe it wasn't him I it think was another cop well different, he yeah. well it's, it's okay Kathy that's fine. yeah I mean, he said that uh or maybe it was Charles Schultz I don't know it was uh, <laughs> a guy said I'm it, sure it was comics, Obama. comics will break your heart because the, the like the comic artist just part of the craft part of like just doing the cartoons every week it just like breaks them because they're like i think it's actually very similar to what we do because yeah like, it sounds trying like to do it. a good job they're like on these weird deadlines i have to like constantly pump things out and so he was just like it will break your heart i bet if you l love what you do don't do it don't do it don't do it don't do it don't get paid for it <laughs> I, I think you just have to learn how to like moderate because that's what that's a big thing with the shorts. Like I was making one a day. It's like oh, yeah. you make one and even if you like it, it doesn't matter because you have to make another one. <laughs> so it's just like you're on a crazy treadmill. Whereas, it's like you can never feel good about what you've done because you know that there's like another one coming. Yeah. Up. So it's like you can't relax. Yet. Well, it's, it's like it's honestly I, I would say it's like being in exam period where it's like you're you have five exams ahead of you you don't celebrate after the oh, first no, one not yet but imagine that's your whole life <laughs> like, I, I think the way forever I would, I would describe it like when i graduated from college i sort of had a period of time where i was doing nothing because i had saved up a tiny bit of money working throughout college mm -hmm. uh, i left the like three jobs that i had i was like you know what screw this i don't want to work for somebody and I like was doing stuff and I was sort of doing stuff just to do stuff. Like it was like, I had a thing and I'm working on mm. it to accomplish it. And it's like, I'm trying new things. Like building the laser cutter was sort of this, like, I, you know, I found myself in a situation where I wanted a laser cutter. The guy I had like, who had one near me had moved. So I didn't have mm. access to one anymore. And I'm like, Oh, I'm going to try to do this. And I felt basically after starting YouTube and kind of getting into that, like grind or routine, you know, what is it? Sigma, Sigma male, male grind, grind set. set. I, never really tried i never really invested time into doing something new like that again hmm. and so it was like it was almost like gotta just make yeah. videos but i never got to like stop and breathe and try to like do something just for the sake of doing something it was like if it wasn't contributing to making videos so it's like when the house burned down and the laser cutter burned i like i could have bought one but i didn't really want to buy one i was like i want to make another one and i had intent on making another one but i, I never, never made another one because i was like it's like i just couldn't gotta stop. keep going forward. You're just going stuck forward. on yeah. the right. It was like imagine like you're driving down the freeway, making a new laser cutter. Felt like just stopping. Like it didn't. Well, it's like, like it it's like wrong, it's man. it's like you're walking down the street, but you you can't it's you can't stop. You yeah. can only walk slower. Yeah. And so it's like you see something you like. It's, I don't know. It's right. just like you're always moving. It's like running around Japan with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I actually say, if you ask me, what did I learn in my like break? It Here was we go. well, this no, I'm saying real. that like. Basically, yeah, get your pen and yeah, paper. Yeah, out. yeah. 
Here, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look, it wasn't we take a like... short pause. Everybody who's watching this, <laughs> pen and paper out right it's, now. It's, it's related okay? to what you're saying is that as you make video, YouTube videos for a longer and longer time, I think that what you end up doing is the line between what you like doing and the success of the video get blurred. So it's like, it's kind of like in school where I'd be like, I don't know if I like this class or I'm like, just, I'm just doing well. Because yes. at the moment you stop, you stop doing yeah. well, you're like, this class sucks. Well, oh, I mean, yeah. if you're bad at math, it's hard to feel good about But math. I'm just saying that I was always just, <laughs> that was my I always just experience. did well in math. So I always <laughs> I just liked math. math class, but I just liked it because I was doing well. I, either way, I'm saying that like it blurs the lines between what you enjoy doing and what oh, yeah. seems to be performing well. So it's like the ideas that I'd come up with were a, at some point I had a huge list of ideas and I realized these videos, I wanted to do them because I thought they would, I, I, I did think they were cool. I thought they were cool. And I also thought they would perform well, but I didn't realize that that's not what I truly wanted to do. Yeah. I just and, want to see the numbers go up. If that, if anyone's watching yeah. this and they like yeah. are an app developer, I just want an app where yeah. like you open it and every time the number go it, up, there's just one number that just goes up a little yeah, bit every time you refresh clicker. it. It's like cookie clicker. <laughs> Is that it? You just... yeah. That's why I play that chicken game that I play the mobile yeah, idle like, game. Yeah. I think that would take care of a lot of problems. But I think from you, just you, you should make a cookie clicker game, but it's like YouTube subscriber game yeah. where it's like you can like have things that subscribe to your youtube channel <laughs> all i'll say is what i like the the thing that i decided on was to not like to only do the videos that i truly like personally want to do which is like you said like taking the break to then focus on the projects that somehow two years later you still have never done that's kind of it it's like getting off that treadmill yeah, i feel like it's kind of like a like the idea of a weekend right like if you're at work all week yeah and you are just like because i remember when i first started working it, I, I don't even it's just a very weird time it was like 12 14 16 hour days mm -hmm. like i was in high school wow. this was over summer and they were doing like these crazy projects at the time that like needed a massive amount of overtime and i just remember it's like you know go to work you like just nonstop the entire day. This fabricated. was in the machine shop. Yeah, like working with metal welding. So you were like just an apprentice, or like yeah. not even. But I was basically. just doing grunt work in a yeah. machine shop, and then it's like I mean, sixteen hours is insane. Mm -hmm. You go home, it's dedication. Like I remember not even taking showers. Like I literally would just go home and just pass out immediately. Like in like people, someone good old like, days forced me to take a shower. You're I a good just, worker. I was real so American tired. worker. Yeah, I basically like I. It wasn't like a, those was bootstraps just, were like. All my, my boot, bootstraps were up my ass. Keep pulling. I had to clench my cheeks to keep my bootstraps up. And I, it's like the idea of the weekend is sort of like to help force you to step away from yeah and i feel like with videos like oh you have no weekend you had you don't really have a weekend so it's hard. i remember when those dissolved it's like how do you how do you like kind of force yourself to not think about making i think i don't know it's very i think that's sort of the unhealthy part of it is just never like stepping away there's gotta be like do you think like well it's like, like ross creations like has problems with it just like there's no. channels that just seem like they are doing I, like Action he, Lab, right? There's no way Action Lab like suffers when he makes. Well, it's because they that. they have like a completely different uh, like mindset. Yeah, yeah, like a completely different doctrine of making videos. It's just, you know, it's like how squids have a million babies because a lot of them are oh. going to get eaten because they kind of suck. Uh, just like making stuff constantly. But I think yeah. that that is That's also what... honestly, I would say this: going on the shorts grind. I do not believe that if you make daily shorts content that you put effort into, I do not believe you can be mentally healthy. I'm not saying that actually, no, like actually. I'm not say, saying no, I'm that they saying make like, bad videos. What I'm trying to say is that there's less invested per video if you make more videos. Yeah, so but like I, you don't take a loss as I hard. I think that's, I think though that that is less healthy in a different way. I'm going to simplify your statement. You cannot be mentally healthy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm saying make, that, that's why I said I was going to reduce my shorts because the... Sharts. Sharts. <laughs> reduce them. <laughs> How do you tell the difference between a short and a shart? A short shart. <laughs> I can't even see the word shorts in my head. Every time I hear shorts, I just think YouTube shorts. <laughs> like it's burned in there. I don't know why. It's because they, they're kind of shart. <laughs> so you thought it was a video, but it's not really a like, video. And then you get into it and it's a it's bad. It's a bad experience. Yeah. I, I think Once you start scrolling, shorts, it just gets worse and worse. God. And you scroll back up and it starts over again and there's no control. So you can't skip back to where yeah. you were. I think, I think the shorts... I think the idea of making short videos is totally fine. I just think that like 
the problem with like video making in general is that it's an infinity potential. So it's like if you if you made one short today or one short per day, that's cool. But you could make two. You could make three. You could make, like it's just like there is no limit on how many videos you could make. And because the shorts are easier to make, you're more likely to try to stack as many as you can. Look at like like I like Michael's philosophy. Like he says, once it starts to feel like work, yeah, he's he's oh, out. Half, and my, like, half of the stuff Michael says is BS. Anyway. I mean, <laughs> but that's how I am too. Like that's why I was really bad in school. <laughs> I feel no, like but I think everything good. feels like work to Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I can relate to that. <laughs> but I think like going back to the videos, like I said, coming up with ideas where it's like, I, I realize there's different, just different video ideas where it's like, I'm talking, let's say I, I bring it up to you guys in the past being like, this could be a really cool idea. I'm sure the video would do well versus I just want to keep talking about it because I really think the idea is cool and I want to yeah. see it happen. Like there's a difference between the two. And you can find the ones that you really enjoy that also will do well. So I've been working on the the CT scanner video. Yeah. Right? Still? Well, I mean, well, but it's not a video. That's the thing is it's not a video. It's just like... <laughs> You're I have, just a guy art. working on the CT scanner. Yes! Oh, actually. Okay. So I have... Like, that's literally why I have any of the x-ray stuff. Because that was the original plan was to make a CT scanner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so that's I, an example of something that you just right. think is cool. Yeah, exactly. And I think, like, I've done all the math. Mm -hmm. I literally have a Python. <laughs> script. I've li I've literally like, done. Literally. I've done. I have everything. Like I have a Python script that the can algorithms. take an image, like a two dimensional <laughs> image. It generates mm. cross sectional density. Then it undoes it, and it, you can take an image, turn it into. Um, oh my god, what do they call it? I haven't. I haven't worked on it. In like oh yeah, six some months. weird. They call it something uh, gram picture. Sinogram. <laughs> yeah. Turn it into a sinogram, <laughs> which is the density as it rotates, and then you take that and you undo it. Okay. And you can rebuild, reconstitute the image that the density was derived from. Mm. So it's essentially how x-rays work is you shine it through. It shows you the density of what it passed through. And then you rotate the object and you take all those cross-sectional scans, mm. those density scans, and then you can reconstitute them by kind of undoing what you did. But at this point, you're just doing it to do it. Yeah. <laughs> but then in my head at the same time, I'm thinking about like, what does anybody, first of all, how many people know what a CT scanner is? Like if it says, I built a CT scanner, like no one gives a shit, right? Like they're going to think of an MRI as well. Yeah, they're, they're going to think, think of an MRI or whatever. So then it's like, okay, in my head, I'm thinking, is it a thousand dollar CT scanner versus million dollar CT scanner? Or is it, you know, like I got another like a hospital bill kind of thing it's like all i want to do is make a ct scanner yeah, but then i'm thinking in my head like, how do i make people give a shit about the ct scanner? i mean do you ever think that maybe it's just like like just overthinking it like yeah, what yeah. all the yes yeah. yeah like no there's something I wrong with a, me i made a fucking ct scanner. I, I would say yeah. that you, what if the title was just fuck you <laughs> <laughs> that could work i i think that what you could what you should do at least for me what i realized is if it excites you, <laughs> I feel like the, it's, I'm sorry, but like the wow. meta at some point, it's like it's like going towards like hyper motivation. At some point, it was it's like super clickbait on itself. Yeah, and it's gonna just have to at some I, point become zero motivation. I tried, I tried <laughs> like laser to. laser welder shit. I, I tried to, to some laser welding shit from AliExpress. <laughs> You're not wrong. At one point, yeah, everyone's like, I just want the simpler times. Yeah, like, and it's just it's, it's, gotta it's, come back. I, to I, I tried to get Michael to make the title of his last video, uh, the the goldfish video. I tried. I get him to title it video. <laughs> <laughs> just video. Just video. <laughs> I'm I'm actually a fan of the like titling it after like the uh what what the video would be named on like the camera. Just like yeah. when they're like vi uh, like, like, oh, like vid underscore two two five six and that's it. That's the dot mp4 vid twenty twenty two dash seven dash eight. It's just like the it's just the date. I mean, and dot mp4 I you have to the, the file format have like you did it you took the the idea of making the title all lowercase yes yeah and i went but i've always done further. that i did a war crime and i used the wrong oh, there on that purpose. was genius Is that i think in the first like hour that we got like a thousand comments that are mostly people trying to correct the grammar <laughs> they can't help themselves it's, dude it's like literally like, <laughs> like moths to a flame it's, like, it's what you said about math if you're good at math it feels good if you know that someone else spelled their wrong it feels good you're like this is my chance to look smart you don't know that part of that satisfaction just feeding into the video's performance like, yeah. They feel good. It's like, well, that good feeling is making the video do better. Do you ever do stuff like that on purpose? Um, I, I do. 
You did a toilet that you do bad. like you drop things a lot. Really like in that that I think that's you, funny. You yeah. Well, it's PA, funny, but people are always like, like oh my god, he almost dropped it. Oh, we're doing the thing where we're like on two different conversations. I'm stopping so we don't. Oh, were we doing the? Yeah, we were doing the thing. Oh, usually those goes on and goes on for longer though. People always half complain about it because they like it, but they don't want it to go on too long. <laughs> Wait, I was going to say, you said about like lowercase titles. I think I stopped doing that like two years ago. Well, everything goes around. Yeah. No, I had an argument with Corey, my brother, because I was like, I just think capitals look ugly. Like in the, in the title. Is there anything else you think looks ugly? That's you. an ugly way. <laughs> oh, I just said. <laughs> uh, no, I just look, I was like, I think they look ugly and it makes it seem like the video is like a presentation. I think that's the meta though. No, I just don't use, I it's just like don't. seeming like you don't care. Yeah. It's like perceiving what everyone else is doing and like writing on the front. Oh. Ian's telling us to talk more about Japan. So. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, the, the whole work be oh wait like, that's right we have to justify being here <laughs> wow that was, a, that was know, a... other than that we could have literally done this anyway <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the topics we've been talking about would have worked in a closet <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. This so could have just been a set. A, we a got seat, so distracted. Or CGI. <laughs> the only problem is we can't talk about any stuff we did yesterday. Listen, we want to so vent. We have to. We had to no, vent we can, about this. We can no, say. There's like, there's I've been in stuff. Japan for like 24 hours now. We went to yeah. Don so Quixote. Like, first impressions, right? Like, what do you guys think? It, I, it's wild. I like it. I yeah. think it's really cool. Like, honestly, just the fact walking around in a neighborhood is it feels like what a neighborhood should be. There's like little shops on every corner. They're all like locally owned. I it feels it's weird somehow like 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 viscerally safer. Oh, to totally. Around Absolutely. Japan than anywhere in the U.S. Anywhere. Being here like there's it's not that anything necessarily happens. You just feel safer i feel like we're honestly probably the worst thing that's happened. yeah we're the most oh, yeah. we're the oh, most yeah. danger that's we are, the, we're, we are the danger we're like the menace we're the neighborhood Actually, menace we, we feel safer because everyone else just kind of like <laughs> as we walk just just because you were wearing your, your full-on weeb tokyo <laughs> yeah that's true i felt very uncomfortable in that <laughs> it's a lot more humid than i thought it would be yeah oh, it's a no, very it's soupy. Really bad. like no anime has prepared me for this moment nobody yeah. says you hear the cicadas in the anime, but you don't feel the the sauna. They're outside. so loud. They're really loud. They're so. Wee it is actually batshit crazy. When you go to a park, they are. It just sounds like there's yeah. construction going on. <laughs> yeah. Some of the parks are like super wooded, which makes you kind of realize that you know, like hundreds of years ago, when this was not a city, it was like dense, like super dense forest. And I could imagine, like, if there's any sort of predator, like, well, are there any big animals? There's bears here, right? Yeah, but they're somewhere. Small. Yeah, I think they're small bears. bears. Okay, like if you had a bear stalking you and the cicadas were going up, you would have no idea there was a bear stalking <laughs> you. Like actually, they're that loud. It's, it's horrific. Yeah. Cicada town. Like yeah. they, that's why you have to be careful in the pachinko parlors. Oh, that was yeah. everyone's deaf here. You gotta Everyone watch out for the bears. <laughs> <stuff. laughs> yeah, can we talk about that? Whatever the hell that nightmare was. The pachinko parlor sounded like. Literally, I could only describe it as being like on the tarmac of, of an airport while like a turbine. Kevin was thought a sound was being injected I, into the room. I couldn't believe that something could be that loud. <laughs> like, like it, it felt like you were in like the back end of a refrigerator. Like, could can the air possibly be saturated with sound? Because that's what it felt like. <laughs> the air could not vibrate <laughs> every like every pachinko machine, pachinko, pachinko, pachinko. Pa I think it's pachinko. 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 pachinko machine. Like, was is that was that all speakers? Like, every pachinko machine was making it sound, and they were all combining into this horrific. Uh, yes, I think it's complete constructive interference. It was all oh, adds yeah. up to one giant waveform. I guarantee you could do a study and show that like people make worse decisions if it's that loud. Yeah, definitely. You can't think. Yeah, I think. Oh, you think it's like almost some kind of psychology? I think that I would. I would think that there's something to that. But you don't make any decisions. But yeah, I don't think there's no, any real people, decisions to be made. Because then they don't decide to stop. That's that would make decision. me want to get out of there sooner. Though. <laughs> people are on their phones, like reading anime. Or like reading, I don't know, comics or something and playing the game, but they're just like scrolling through their phone, just pushing a button. Oh God. Well, it's so, just like nonstop noise. So do you, do you win anything? Like, what's the point of that? Isn't there Is a it like an arcade? Yes, the, there's the like, gambling loophole. You, you can't win money here, but you can win a prize. And then right next no, door, I think you we, can exchange I, the prize. for. Well, I could be wrong. You get these ball bearings. Yeah. Right. And if you do well, you get more ball bearings than you started with. Like those little metal balls. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then when you're done, if you want to come back and play again, you can pour them all into a machine that counts them and gives you like credit for how many ball bearings you have. 
What if you just want the ball bearings? We can go. We should go. <laughs> I, I guarantee that they've done some bullshit. It's like some bizarre ball size. Yeah, like probably that you can yeah. counterfeit. But either way, I think you then take that card or something, and you're supposed to come back and play. But I think you can go to a separate building, and then you can trade it. You can get like a refund or something. Can we? Can we, we should do that. Yeah. Yeah. I think. I think can that's how it works. We don't. You don't have to be. There's no. Rule I don't there. think it so. Because like you're not gambling. Just walk in and sit down. You're you're not you're not gambling. Okay. It's like you said, Kevin's uh, calling oh, yeah, card. Call card. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you you play these games and you get credits on a calling card and then you can exchange the calling card mm. back for money. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Yeah, at a different building. <laughs> they, Just enough steps there was, to make it different. There was a, a, an American who came here and said, "I could do this in America." This is, this is what I love I yeah. love like the conspiracies about nine eleven. Like the government did nine eleven. Uh -huh. like the government can't even stop a, a, a gambling operation. <laughs> you can't you know, even stop like, spam you, calls. Yeah, you can't smell. You can't smell the calling card gambling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's so obvious too. You're saying you're like, this is of, gambling. Like, what the the hell no one can do anything about it. They're powerless. <laughs> hey, yeah, it can't stop calls. Dude, did you? Did I show you my phone? Oh, the scam calls. Because you do you know how many phone calls I got the the day we left? You got. Because you applied for a mortgage, right? Yeah. So it's just it just went out into the ether. Fifty calls. In like what was it like a eight half, hours? Oh. Fifty phone calls. My phone rang fifty times in eight hours. It was like every five minutes. You're like almost to the dot. It was batshit. Like it did not stop. Were they just, were they just you have, dude, calls? Half like, of them, I would like some of them I would pick up because at some point you're just like, like he just, yeah, eventually you're like, this is nothing is going to stop them from calling. So I might as well just mess with them. Dude, half the time it was almost like the robo caller couldn't find a real human for me to talk to until so the call would just end. Like there's literally, <laughs> imagine, imagine <laughs> fishing, like you've got 10 poles. But if, if there's too many going on at the same time, your operator can't handle it, so you just start cutting the lines. <laughs> and the fish are swimming up the hook in their mouth. Like, like you, you, they're okay wasting my time, and when I'm willing to give it to them, they don't. It's like you finally got somebody to answer. Yeah. And yeah. then they, they just click. I think what they do is they wait for you to make a noise, and, and then they, it connects you. That's the real reason you came to Japan, isn't it? Yeah, to, to get away. away from the phone That's calls. why I didn't try to get my any data roaming or anything. I just switched <laughs> to a SIM card or to a data plan. You're going to open up, you're going to put your SIM card back in. It's going to be like 4,000 <laughs> missed calls. I'm actually terrified. It's coming back. <laughs> like, what is this nightmare? Because <laughs> it's like, it's text messages too. Right, right. Mostly phone calls. Though. They but, Wait, they send you like spam, like text messages of like, yeah. like, you know, with your name and everything. Jeez. And it's like talking about apply for a mortgage, apply for a mortgage, apply for a mortgage. Because you did one, and so they're like, oh, maybe we can get yeah. do another yeah. one. It's like, ooh, this guy's buying mortgages. <laughs> <laughs> We're offering you a two for one mortgage. What is the success? <laughs> how could how successful could that possibly be for them to like it, shotgun that much? Well, and it's a computer doing it. Like, what I guess, yeah, so I guess it's, even if it's like a 0.1% conversion, yeah. it's still like. Yeah, because you pay a lot of money for interest on a mortgage. Uh, yeah, and interest like is a, super high right now. Yeah. Like 5% or something, right? I think. I don't know. Bad. I heard that it's going up. Is it? Um, let's, let's get deeper into mortgage <laughs> rates. <laughs> no, no, here, watch this, watch this. Uh, does it, does the housing market in Japan's different though, right? Because I think the houses depreciate here. I heard appreciate. that if really? you have enough I think so. my little metal ball bearings you can buy a house, <laughs> you can buy it with ball bearings. How many ball bearings does this house cost? It's one of those trade-up videos. I think you have to like, single you have to fill up the bearing. volume. You probably have to fill up the volume yeah, of the house. fill the house up with ball bearings, you can have the house. <laughs> Wait, why would the house price go down? I think it just, the markets just work differently here. Like people just think it's older. It like there's an expectation in the U.S. that you're like, oh yeah, like every year this has to go up by 5% or whatever. Mm, no, yes. That's, that's, I think in actually how the economy works in America. <laughs> like I'm not joking. Like I think I, the older I get, the more I think about like the sort of nightmare that is uh, being alive. And it's like. <laughs> but the older you get, the closer you get to not having to do that anymore. Yeah. Exactly. Like you, so you, you, you wake up for the first time ever right uh you go through school you go through all these things to be a productive citizen right you're not allowed to be a piece of shit like that's frowned upon yeah um you can't go live in the woods because actually i really don't know why you're no, not well, allowed because there's yeah. microplastics in the rain so well, you can't even get the, well I mean, legally way. like even if you, i was willing to so-called public lands right like if i go to like blm land right 
what Bureau of Land Management. I feel yeah. like I have to. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you'd like go camp there. Like I don't think you could just live there, right? Like no. no way. Like you could, I think, camp there. Yeah, but you have to move every fourteen days. Like you can't set up a, a shack in the forest. How far do you? It's frowned move? upon. Yeah. What if my shack was on wheels? Yeah, can you just rotate the shack every fourteen days? They, well, if they can't find you, they can't get you in trouble. So you just have to go like way really out there. But then you like you have to go get a job, and it's like, well, why do you have to get a job? It's like, oh, because you have to buy a house, and a house is like a thirty-year commitment. Mm -hmm. But then, oh, it's okay. Buying a house is, it is you can stretch yourself. It's not a big deal because it grows in value every single year. Like imagine, like if houses didn't grow five or six percent every year, no would nobody would be willing to like stretch themselves to the maximum, like taking this huge right, loan. Right. Like look what happened uh, 20, in two thousand eight, right? Like everybody's stretch, stretch, stretch. That was completely unregulated. Everyone's like, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. They're taking loans they shouldn't have taken, mm -hmm. and the whole thing fell apart. And it's like if you don't have confidence that this, the biggest investment you'll ever make in your entire life will will like be sound you're not going to be able to stretch that far. And if you're not willing to stretch that far, then you're not going to work as hard because you're not going to want to take as big of a loan out. I don't know. You don't have to make as much money. I mean, maybe, but I got a house just personally because it's like, so I don't have to deal with a landlord or neighbors. I can just do whatever I right. want. Like, I don't even see it as an investment. And I it always kind of makes me angry when people are like, oh, you can't do that in my neighborhood. You're ruining my property value. And I'm like, uh, shut up. You're not entitled to your property value. <laughs> <laughs> property. Yeah, I don't know. I think. Um, but I guess now that you say it, it's like it's the whole economy is just kind of like hoping that everything goes up. I, love the I don't know. Like I don't understand this. Figured out how the economy works. <laughs> I really like nobody the really knows transportation in Japan. I do too. I think it's it's like I I that was my first instinct was to just I because. I didn't even think to get an Uber, yeah. which like everyone else did. It was way faster. I did not. You definitely, if you're coming from an airport with with luggage, you should probably just get an Uber. No, you have to experience <laughs> the know, transit. I'm not dragging a suitcase through public transit. <laughs> I did. Well, yeah, was it fun? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> you just lie. say that despite. It's a challenge. <laughs> yes, it was the most fun I've ever had in my life. In fact, I'm going to think about it right now. <laughs> I'm just going to oh, carry on so my suitcase fun. for the rest of the trip. Getting from the airport to like, Tokyo was not hard. How big is your suitcase? Um, was it checked or not checked? Not checked. It's okay. a carry on. But I had my backpack. Do you have a checked suitcase though? Yeah. Like big. You you're an exception. Yeah. You had a bunch of extra stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my it was mostly my backpack. Just probably weighed like 30, yeah. 40 pounds. I don't know. It felt like that at least. I just I really like the public transit here. Yeah, it, does, it is. It, really, it is does, really nice. Almost every other country. I've been to like a couple of other cities, and almost every single one. The public transportation it's just bad. makes America look like yeah, a th third world country. Yeah, like I don't know. This is like this is like New York's level public transportation. New York's public it's, transportation. I wouldn't say it's any better than New York. From what I've seen, well, it was really good like a hundred years ago, and okay. they literally haven't touched it. I, since. I will yeah. say this, <laughs> Kevin. Take New York's transit system. Yeah. Remove the pee smell. <laughs> well, it's better than that. Sand okay. away the rust. <laughs> yeah. And Sand away uh, the pigeons. Yeah. <laughs> the hundred years of pigeon poops. Yeah. yeah. They scrape, don't even paint it anymore. It's scrape no, all it's the a, grime. It's a structural off. element of this. It's a load bearing <laughs> pigeon. Like no. There's actually not any steel left. <laughs> <laughs> scrape away all the grime. You know how like uh, granite forms. No, I don't. Or like a sedimentary material that's kind oh, of like, like the pigeon. The pigeon shit pressure. fills in the in the rust, and it becomes like a meta material. Every time the train goes over, it hardens a little bit more. Oh, and, uh, but yeah, you, you get rid of the homeless people too. Yeah, uh, I don't know. So if they're I've also seen... holding the bridges up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no. I didn't see a single homeless person. I've here. seen two here. Really? Yeah, yeah but they, the thing is, they don't beg for change here. So the homeless people I've seen, they kind of are just hanging out. <laughs> I told you what I saw I don't in, know. in LA, right? The craziest thing I ever saw. No. What was it? Because people have, like, there's a huge influx of, like, RVs. Like, people camping in RVs. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a problem in our neighborhood for a while, too. Mm -hmm. People in RVs. I saw a, a boat on a trailer that wasn't hooked up to anything. Someone's living in on the, that, parked on the street. In a boat? In a boat. On, a like, a boat trailer. <laughs> <laughs> They're living in the boat. <laughs> on the street. With not, nothing attached to the that trailer. That is genius. <laughs> and that's exactly what I was like. Oh my god! <laughs> it's the loophole, right? It's really. It's like, how do they tow that? They have to like that's, go and hit you. Like you, you don't can't. have to live on BLM land. You just buy a boat. In park that's it. the yeah. hack. Park park it it only if there was a better place for this boat than on the side of the street, like. <laughs> Especially because that means like they had to have like a buddy like drag the boat out for them, right, and unhitch it and just leave it there. Yeah. If you go on a subway in New York, there's always going to be somebody like yelling or screaming 
Not oh, here. Yeah, Everybody's yeah. like quiet. Everybody's like, yeah, I, I know. We were the worst parts of this whole trip. <laughs> I saw somebody like taking a picture of us, like through the, they hit the reflection of the glass to take a picture of us. Like they were here taking a picture of the glass, but you could see us in the background. Because we're handsome. Uh, I'm sure. Did you actually see that? Yeah. Well, I mean, Last night. If they were saying we were being loud, a picture's not going to show that. <laughs> I'm sure our mouths were really. It had to have been handsome. It must have been. Yeah, look at these handsome people they've ever seen on the side. I think so. (laughs) (laughs) That was in the in the in the metro. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. To be fair, uh, they might have just been like, "Wow, look at all these people." I was I was pretty drunk. To be fair, (laughs) these white people. I I can't be held accountable. You guys were not Kevin, but you and Will. And, well, I was part of it. No, no, I was. Japanese I phrases I know. Really I was part of it. It was me, you, uh, me, you, Nar, and Will. And then Sandra was like, guys. And then I stopped talking. And then I became like insanely aware, painfully aware of how loud you guys were. I said, I, I'd say it's like you're screaming in a library. <laughs> Except the library is this giant steel thing with big, loud metal wheels careening. Yeah, through a also, tunnel, it's like. The wind and but they were just, I didn't hear people talking. They're like, and then you have Alan and Will going like just screaming because <laughs> you had you had you you became deaf from drinking. Just because we know how to have a good time doesn't mean that I don't know. I'm, yeah, mm, screw you. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt bad when we went to go get off, and some lady bumped into me, and she said sorry, but she wasn't standing next to us. She, know, she was how did standing. She know, how did she know you were Canadian? She saw us all together. She saw us all together. And we were being so loud Sorry. that like several... Oh, wow. <laughs> she probably, I don't know how she said it. it was, she, she was very quiet, but she was like several people over. So for her to go, oh, they speak English. And then when she bumped into us to then say it, it's like she's insanely aware that of our presence. <laughs> well, so we're we like the only white people. don't look Japanese. Yeah. I know, but I'm saying like... She just was clearly very aware of our presence. Also, right now in Japan, there's like no tourists because they're not, there's like not allowed to be tourists because of COVID. So we're but we're, we're, we're making we're, up for all the. No, la- no, the la- we are not tourists. We're not. We're, we're here on a visa, mm-hmm. a work visa. Mm-hmm. And like right now, we're working this, legally. Yes. Yeah. We're not. We're not. We tourists. literally have yeah. to make like four yeah. podcasts. Yeah. Because we we love. Um, what is it? <laughs> So no, much, we don't. No, get no, 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 never mind. Okay. No, that's no. censored. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we love. We it's love. Really, wait, I don't think I've ever gotten to one of these. They're, they're, they're gonna think that you said. <laughs> <laughs> we love Geeks Plus. <laughs> we love to sponsor this video very much, we love- yeah, which you can see on the screen right, right. now. <laughs> Geeks Plus. Yeah, there, there was one of one of the uh, we had we have some obligations to get the visa, which makes sense because a lot of work and someone puts their neck on the line. And yeah, so we like, they wanted us to play a game, but we did learn that if we don't do it, we have no repercussions. Our friends <laughs> just get in trouble. Yeah, that's true. So it's on them. We have literally but no then, repercussions. But then we learned they then they didn't want us to play the game, which is fine. We don't really know why. I mean, I can. Oh, say so apparently they couldn't. They said they couldn't get the rights to it, even though it's there. Somebody just didn't want. It, I don't. I have no idea. Someone it, said know, they couldn't get the rights, even though it's their game. Well, it's just like multiple organizations. Even though they they are the owners of the game, but because of how like they said like yeah. copyrights work and stuff, like they didn't. In order to be able to like talk about it in a marketing sense, right. they needed approval More of another department, and they didn't. And they, didn't mm. they forgot to do it. We weren't worth their time. Yeah, or something. that's the thing. We were fine. Yeah. I'm okay with that. So <laughs> the, the alternative is they're like, well, what if you just. Walk around. Where were we supposed to walk around? Somewhere Akihabara Market. Akihabara. And we're like, okay, yeah, <laughs> we'll do. We'll walk around. <laughs> what's the plan for the rest of today? Like, what are we doing? Like, what's our day in Japan look like? Uh, what's our What's our week in Japan look like? What does that mean drinking or? Why are you doing this? That's, there's a thousand Why things are I could you mean. Doing <laughs> oh, oh, yes. it's a pachinko, pachinko, pachinko. Oh, okay. Vending machine. Oh, oh yeah. Huh. Fifty vending machine. Thank God. I was oh, we're doing a Patreon. <laughs> yeah. like, like, what if we? What are our obligations? <laughs> now you're doing two hands. <laughs> no, I mean, you could do it like well, this. It's way more efficient. <laughs> push the buttons on the vending I, machine. I think. Yeah, exactly. I, I think the idea was that like there's there's a reason why the Japanese government invited us, and I we don't really know. The government what that did is. not invite us. <laughs> so a company had to convince the government. Oh to yeah, let sorry, us come. sorry. There's a reason for that, and we haven't fully figured it out. 
but we thought we could film some stuff for ourselves while we're here. Oh yeah, I, I need to find and a for sword you. master. Yeah, like I, I want to go and like do some mm -hmm. like. The you want to find the knife guy? Oh, I already went. We already went to a katana shop. We talked to the guy for like an hour. Wait, wait, but the, the knife guy, like the YouTube one who makes weird. No, oh, no, 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 I never messaged no, none him. No, none of the Japanese YouTubers want anything to do with us. Yeah, it's a weird culture of like YouTubers over yeah. here. That's They're almost like regular celebrities. I wanted to like, learn oh. Japanese as we went over and I failed, so. Uh, no, you didn't fail. You didn't even try. Yeah. You would have failed if you tried, but you Yeah, sure exactly. <laughs> That's, That's actually a really failed. good way of approaching problems. <laughs> Uh, you can't fail if you don't give yourself the opportunity to fail. I, I actually, I think we finally learned what Nigel's <laughs> secret is. <laughs> Get off your pen and paper. <laughs> <laughs> They've been holding on to us. I'm waiting. <laughs> no one's <laughs> read a you single told, thing. You told them to get their pen and papers. They're They've like, been waiting, <laughs> hovering. This they're like the secret to making time. videos. And it's like, wait, mortgages? And <laughs> <laughs> society? We live in a society? <laughs> Something about public transportation and pigeon shit. It's just like a bunch of question marks and it's like buy a boat, park on the street, yeah, live in it. Pirates in you Los Angeles. Park, park your boat on BLM land and uh, Bureau of Land Management, and then move it every fourteen days. You live live on the land boat. If you come to Canada, you can just go up north and you can find places where no one will ever go. What was the uh, the the ice shack thing you were talking about? Where it's like you just you like go eat a bunch of things and you just drink and hang out on the ice or whatever ice not really hut? on ice oh, ice house like the ice hut fishing no, well thing. you can you can do that uh -huh. but it's like in quebec we call it sugar on well, english you say sugaring off sugaring off that's right <laughs> well i'm so excited to <laughs> yeah go down with and, like, and the translation <laughs> is like sugar cabin like that's what you sugar cabin. that okay it's getting better <laughs> And you basically are just, we talking? This sounds like something you'd find here in Japan. It does. <laughs> you just go up north, and they just you kind of just eat okay, like so maple it's sort syrup. Of like it's up north. It's away from yeah, everything. We're, we're going to Tokyo to sugar off in a sugar cabin. <laughs> so is it? It's you eat like fried foods, like bacon. It's like sausages, pancakes. It's like kind of breakfasty. Okay. Uh, and then you eat like maple syrup on uh, ice, like on snow. Yes, that's like fresh right. maple that's syrup on sugar. snow. I've had that before. And then like you roll it up, and it's like a. Uh, it's kind of like a lollipop, but it's maple syrup. I had it in those little condiment cups like you would put ketchup in, like little balls, and you would just like pop it in your mouth. Snort lines of it. But you put it on snow, and then it hardens, and you like roll it up with a stick, and it's like a, like a gummy. Like it's just, it's hard. Yeah, it's of, hard. Because of how it's cold so it cold. is. It's so cold. It's so yeah, good. That, and then that you like snowshoe, you do like a bunch of like cross-country skiing, you do just Toboggans. like winter activities, but then you just eat like really greasy and what time can you do that in, in winter like, so like december yeah yeah it's it's winter it has to have snow are these like privately owned like you you're going up to your sugar cabin people do sugar they're, they're, it's like it's like a thing that you go up to it's like a business okay. so covid was kind of sad because a lot of the businesses had to i think a lot of them shut down and people thought that maybe it wouldn't be a thing anymore or as much because they changed their business model <laughs> well because people just weren't able to because it's like uh it's do you know, um, it's like they're a cafeteria style off. thing that oh, you eat in. Yeah. So they're like long, like, like on, a, on, a yeah, on a cruise ship. On a cruise ship. Yeah, so I know. I just don't. I just don't wait, just keep going. Keep no. going. You eat. You eat in like, it's it's kind of like a cafeteria. So like long benches. I think some of them like serve yourself. Uh -huh. So it's like for COVID, it's just it was just a horrible place to be. I want to do this. I you I'd say the earliest you can go is like November. Huh. It's usually like the the deep winters when. Because you need the snow. If we do like a, a so if the Canada trip's like November, can we shut it off? I still too early. It it depends when it snows up north. You want to be my sugar daddy? <laughs> but if you go far up north, it it'll be snowy. Maybe I don't November. Have, I don't no, know. I don't have nearly. Enough I have money not to gone. Be your sugar daddy. <laughs> I haven't gone in probably like five okay. or six years, so I don't know. Yeah, so sugaring off it sounds fun. It might yeah. be too early in November though. You said October you'd visit though. Yeah, but I, if I could combine it, I could probably delay it. it doesn't, I think it October is better matter. to be in Montreal than November. Okay. Why? Too cold? It's it's like October is starting to get too cold and November is usually like... I want to experience like the cold. That's like January. Yeah. Hmm. Like where it's negative 40 out. That's oh, so it's like Celsius. And no, no. It doesn't matter. I want to do a video with like... That's like how, late how, January in a really, really, really unfortunate year. So if you went to the top of a parking garage and you peed off a parking garage at negative 40, will you get it get a ticket for public <laughs> indecency? Yeah, but would the money you make on the video be worth the lifetime yeah. registration? I, it was in Canada. I, I brought this up 
I've never, I could just be in a weird, I don't know, maybe it's just not my life experience. I've never heard of anyone getting in trouble for peeing in public. Like anywhere. I've, I've just never, no, in Montreal, I've never oh, heard do of Do people a, just not do it? Well, because it's, it's public, so cold. No, they do, it's all the time. Like oh. if you go out with a lot of like people drinking and stuff, it's probably people are going to pee in public. Yet it doesn't smell like New York somehow. Because it's all frozen. And then yeah. in the summer when it thaws. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I've just, you have just, like a pee, I've never pee birds. Nigel, heard of people getting in trouble. Have you ever peed in public? Everyone has. <laughs> you didn't answer the question. That's, no. a, that's a lawyer answer. <laughs> <laughs> have you? By necessity, correct. I, <laughs> you took no there, pleasure there in it. There aren't public bathrooms. I just never understood this. Like, that's how you end up with pee everywhere. That's why there is pee everywhere. <laughs> Sticking it to the man. <laughs> and there are some people who just like pee in public for no reason, which I don't understand. Like, there'll be times where like you'd be not like usually not my like the friends I know well, but like random people. You'd be heading to a restaurant. You're just walking downtown, and the guys like, "I'm gonna go pee," and you're like, "But we're literally gonna be in the re at the restaurant in like three minutes." Is your friend? No, no they're say, usually they're, your friends are perverts. Is, this, is there like a code of where you can pee in public? Just anywhere that's like <laughs> kind of secret. I was in China once. I, I straight up saw a guy just pull over and take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> it wasn't like it wasn't behind a. It was like there was like an entrance way into almost like a like a strip mall type type of situation. I think, and he was like in front of like the sign. He like pulled the car over. He just got out. I and squatted. in Montreal, I saw a guy pull over. On one of the busiest main streets, he got out of his car. He didn't even look that. He didn't even look like a weird guy. He was twenty something. He got out of his car. He pulls, just whips it out. What? Oh. What? What? His his penis. Okay. And starts, oh. walk, and starts walking towards my penis. friend and I. And my friend, being a girl, is like extremely like, "What the Humble hell is brag. this?" And then he he commented to us. He said he he just he looked at us. He goes, "You like?" He's like, "You like this?" And we're like, "No." <laughs> and then he walked up and he peed onto the sidewalk where everyone was walking and then he got back in his car and drove away mm, what tossed you no pennies <laughs> why wow what yes. tossed you <laughs> alan <broke>. no <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> and here's the thing like Wait. nothing happened to him that just goes to show that anybody could be a rogue pisser he looked like a totally normal a guy he would he i would say no i would say he looked like a normal guy as in like he didn't look crazy but he looked like a guy who would do that one time uh, if that makes you, sense you know the type you know the type <laughs> my, my hometown downtown there was a crazy guy uh who was just he was just walking on the sidewalk spinning in circles peeing <laughs> that sounds just liberating yeah. <laughs> yeah i haven't seen that in japan no i remember that vividly i got very as far away as i could <laughs> all right we are we are going to be in japan for the next handful of episodes at least the contractually obligated <laughs> four episodes uh, we're gonna be doing a bunch of extra stuff too so if you would like to see that you can support us on patreon the safety third patreon yeah. uh we would very much appreciate it because we we're gonna be trying all the money <laughs> that's that's thank you <laughs> Watashi wa hamburger sandes.